Hello, my name is Gunther Mueller and I'm with BioT Medical as an Executive Physician Liaison and I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about BioT Medical and how something about the size of a grain of rice can create such a big difference. So I'm here to talk to you today about really optimizing your hormones and your physiology and you've got lots of hormones going on in your body, literally hundreds of them, but we're going to talk about five or six of them today and how that really affects our physiology. So you might be asking yourself, what's a hormone? A hormone is just a chemical messenger that's floating around in your bloodstream telling every organ and every cell in your body what to do. You have about a billion chemical reactions going on in your body every second of the day. So as you age, your hormones kind of decline and so those messages are just not getting through. So there's three things I really need you to know about hormone optimization. You need to know that not all hormone therapies are created equal. You need to know that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. We really have to do something that's personalized medicine, individualized medicine, and you need to find an expert. You've probably heard a lot of information out there about hormone replacement therapy, and when you check out BioT Medical, we're going to give you the real truth about what you need to do to optimize that physiology. Okay, the number one question that we have to answer in the BioT method of hormone optimization is, how do you feel? It's not just about your lab work. How many times have you been to the doctor and you get your lab results back and you get this phone call and they say everything is normal? And you went to the doctor not feeling good and you were kind of hoping maybe they would find something and you get this phone call and say everything's normal, see you next year. The number one question in the BioT method of hormone optimization is how do you feel? We start with a symptom checklist, we get you in touch with your symptoms and that's where it all starts. So the real question you have to ask yourself is, do you feel like this? Are you popping ibuprofen pills like it's going out of style? Are you, is there unexplained weight gain going on in your life? Are you just not feeling good in your body? I can tell you the number one thing about getting your hormones optimized is that you're actually gonna feel good in your body again. You're gonna feel good in your skin. You're gonna sleep well at night. You're gonna get up rested, relaxed, natural energy, and you're gonna have a real clear purpose in your life as to why you're here on the planet. That's what hormone optimization is all about. We kind of want to feel like this. Again, this is just stock photography that's saying, hey, I'm feeling calm, cool, collected, I feel good in my body. This is how we want to age. You've heard the words anti-aging out there before, right? It's not possible. If I'm 49 years old today, I'm not going to be 47 years old tomorrow, right? So we are aging, and this is about healthy aging. Let's talk about some of the symptoms that are associated with hormonal imbalance. How many times at two o'clock in the afternoon do you have to go get a cup of coffee because you can't make it through the day and you just don't have that natural energy? What about mood swings, anxiety, tension, irritability? How many times do you wake up in the middle of the night at two or three o'clock in the morning and can't get back to sleep? That's not normal. You should be able to sleep through the night naturally. How many times you walk into a room and forget why you walked into the room? Your memory's just not working well can't focus on a project, there's brain fog going on. What about those hot flashes and night sweats? I gotta tell you, this is a big deal because if a, if a practitioner does not properly diagnose the difference between a true hot flash and a night sweat, you're probably gonna wind up with the wrong hormone. Unexplained weight gain, joint pain, migraines, headaches, decreased sex drive. These symptoms affect both men and women and a lot of times in our life we've just been told, hey, we're over 30, we're over 40, get used to it. This is the way it feels. I'm here to tell you that it's not natural to feel that way. It's not natural to age that way. What you need to do is get your hormones optimized, get some nutritional imbalances optimized, and you're going to be feeling better in your body. So if any of these symptoms sound familiar to you, don't panic. We have a solution. So in our culture, a lot of these symptoms are self-addressed. People are getting diagnosed with fibromyalgia, or depression, erectile dysfunction, things like that, and they're trying to self-treat. What you need, again, is that expert to really do some lab work, look at that lab work in a new way, and really find the root cause as to why you're suffering from these symptoms. So the important thing is to really seek out a certified, trusted BioT provider. These physicians have gone the extra mile in getting the training that's required to treat the root cause of your symptoms and not just put band-aids on your symptoms, usually with prescription drugs. So let's go over some of the facts around menopause, right? There's 3,500 women a day going into menopause. We've got 10,000 people a day turning 65 in this country. That baby boom generation is moving over that mark and things are changing in healthcare. The truth is, some of the symptoms of menopause can show up 10 to 15 years before you ever have to cross that bridge. So if you do the math, the average age of menopause is between 48 and 51 years old. So if you take 10 to 15 years off that, you're about 35 years old. So if you're feeling the symptoms that we went over, here's a way that you can solve some of that. 
And a term you might not be familiar with is andropause. This is how men get affected by hormonal imbalance. So some common facts about andropause is that it's related to type 2 diabetes, related to not sleeping well at night, high blood pressure, things like that. All kinds of chronic disease can be associated with low testosterone. And about 20% of males over the age of 50 have low testosterone. And there's nothing better you can do for your health than to get it checked out and potentially treat it. So men and women experience hormonal decline very differently. So let's talk about estrogen. Fact, there's over 400 functions in your body that are associated with estrogen. It controls hot flashes, maintains collagen in the skin, maintains bone density, uh, really affects uh, your brain function and maintaining memory. So as you age and estrogen declines, all of these other physiological functions are gonna be affected by that. And just so you don't make a mistake, Estrogen is for men as well. I always like to say it, what keeps us friendly. So let's talk about testosterone. Fact, it's not just a male sex hormone. Women make and need testosterone, just like the guys need testosterone. It protects the brain, the bone, the breast tissue, protects the heart and your joints. And we also like to say relationships. Men and women experience testosterone loss very differently. Men, it's very slow. Between about the age of 30 and 70, we lose one to 3% per year. Women, on the other hand, between the age of 20 and 40, can lose up to 50% of their testosterone production every year. It's usually tied in with a couple pregnancy cycles where you're not feeling as good as you did before. Um, that's a big deal in both male and female physiology. And it's something that really does need to be looked at and treated. So this is some really interesting information because it shows you the range of male testosterone goes all the way from 200 to 1200 and it also shows you the comorbidities that are associated with low testosterone levels. So if you're a guy and you get your lab work done and you're down in the 250, 300, 400 range, your physician may tell you that you're normal and that's true, you're normal, just like every other 35, 40, 45, 50 year old guy. But look what your associated risk is. Heart disease, type two diabetes, all cause mortality. If your testosterone level is not above 900, you're not protecting the brain. You're at greater risk for Alzheimer's and dementia. You are not gonna age healthier or live happier if you start coming down with some of these diagnoses. And at the end of the day, that is what the BioT lifestyle is all about. It's about aging healthier and living living happier so that you can do all the things you wanted to do when you get 65, 70, 75, 80 years old. We're living longer in our culture and you got to do something to take care of your body. So let's talk about some of the leading causes of death. The number one leading cause of death in the United States for both men and women is heart disease. It's not breast cancer, but cancers are up there. That's about the second leading cause of death. And then cerebrovascular disease and some of the other things that you see on the list here. This is what the BioT method of hormone optimization is really about. How do we prevent these serious diagnoses of prostate cancer and breast cancer, Alzheimer's, dementia, heart disease, all these things? Look around in the culture. See what people are being diagnosed with. It is much better to get your hormones optimized a little bit earlier in life rather than waiting till later in life before you get one of these diagnoses. One of the main players in hormones is really this menopausal state where estrogen declines. I always like to ask people, you know, do we age because we lose our hormones or do we lose our hormones because we age? And when you go through that stage of menopause, your estrogen levels are really declining. And look at the increase of heart disease here. It goes from one in seven women to one in three women. This is where this leading cause of heart disease is coming in. It is the decline of hormones and we gotta do something about that. Now we know how important hormone is in our physiology. What we need to discover now is what are the best methods of getting that hormone back into the bloodstream. And there's really two ways to go. We can go the synthetic route, or we can go the bioidentical route. And even the word bioidentical is a tough word because it's not even recognized by the FDA. They think it's just a marketing term. So what we mean by bioidentical is human identical hormone. The same exact hormone that the ovaries and the testes have been producing all of your life. That molecular structure is what we're talking about replacing in our physiology. And when you give your body the raw materials that it needs, the body has its own innate intelligence to heal itself and to repair itself. So we're gonna go through some of the methods, synthetic and bioidentical, and whether it's patches, pills, creams, shots, and our favorite method is pellets. A common misconception associated with hormone replacement therapy is that really it's tied to increases in breast cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's. This is just not true when you're using human identical or bioidentical hormones. 
If you're taking hormones orally, what has to happen, it goes through your digestive tract, it has to go through the liver, and then that hormone winds up in the bloodstream. Like I told you, we have about a billion chemical reactions going on in our body every second of the day. And depending on your gut health, depending on your intestinal health, we really don't know what's getting into your bloodstream. So oral hormone is really the least effective or the least safe way to do hormone replacement therapy. So if you're doing that, you may want to take a look at this particular list of potential side effects with oral hormone therapy, and maybe let's find another method of getting that hormone into the bloodstream. An important part of the BioT method of hormone optimization too is to optimize your progesterone levels. Progesterone is required of women that do have a uterus and that we give estrogen to. It helps protect the endometrial lining. It's an important component of all kinds of hormone optimization. So in 2002, the Women's Health Initiative was abruptly halted due to the increase of Alzheimer's, dementia, heart attack, stroke. These are not side effects that you want to have when you're doing hormone replacement therapy. The problem with the study was that the drug used in the study was something called Prempro. That was a combination of Premarin, which is horse estrogen, and Provera, which is a synthetic progesterone or technically a progestin. No bioidentical hormone in that study. Therefore, we believe you have a whole host of potential side effects that are unnecessary if you would just use bioidentical hormones. Really, it was the wrong drug, it was the wrong dose, and it was the wrong route. What we mean is it was taken orally, it was a one-size-fits-all approach, and really the wrong drug, meaning that it was synthetic hormone. Another alternative method for getting hormone into the bloodstream is using something called a patch. And you stick patches here, here, you know, on here, on here, wherever you put them. And the idea is that we're going to absorb hormone through the skin. The problem is you have a little bit of an adhesive problem. If you go swimming or you get sweaty, the patch kind of peels off. And we know from clinical observation that about 45% of the people cannot absorb hormone through the skin. So unless you're doing the proper blood work to really track if you're actually getting hormone or not, you don't really know that you're getting the protection of the heart, the brain, the bone, and the breast tissue. So patches is one way to do it. People do get some symptom relief from patches, but let me share even a better way for you to get your hormones. Another alternative method is to use creams and gels. You really have to ask yourself who's doing the dosing when you're using a cream or a gel? The answer is you are. You use a nickel size, dime size, quarter size. Do you rub it in all the way? Do you let it dry before you put your clothes on? You got to do it once a day, twice a day. Maybe sometimes you forget. So what's happening is you're riding really a hormone roller coaster wave by having inconsistent dosing. The other thing, the risk with creams and gels is really skin to skin contact. I'm talking about spousal contact, contact with your kids or grandkids because hormones in the form of creams really can transfer. So although people are getting symptom relief from using creams and gels, they're still not protecting the heart, the brain, and the bone, and the breast, which is what really epitomizes the BioT method of hormone replacement. A typical male, when he gets his lab work done, could be in the testosterone level of 200, 250, maybe up to 400, and a typical male that is, you know, 30, 35, 40, 45 years old. And with the use of Testum Cream, and it's shown in the data that with good compliance, you have two dosing options. You got a 50 milligram dose and a 100 milligram dose. And again, with good patient compliance, you might get a 150 or 250 point bump in your testosterone level. Well, we know that men are gonna be symptomatic under 500. So this drug is not cheap. In some cases, it's about $350 a month. Could be 70 or $80 a month with good insurance copay. So, and it really doesn't smell very good. So three things are really against you there. It's not that effective, it's expensive, and it doesn't smell good. A lot of men out there are getting hormone or testosterone through injectable testosterone. The thing you have to know about that, it is 99% synthetic. It is not bioidentical. It's not human identical. Therefore, it does have some adverse effects on your lipid panels, has some liver toxicity, some heart issues associated with injectable testosterone. So, the other problem with injectable is that, you know, guys used to do shots every two weeks, then they started doing them once a week. Now, if you're doing shots right, you're doing them twice a week. That's 104 shots a year. And I don't know about you, but I really don't want to stick myself with a needle 104 times a year. So what we mean by the roller coaster ride is this up and down level of hormone. Your body doesn't like up and down. Your body likes an even, steady state, 
consistent dose of hormone that is bioavailable to your physiology 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That way when your body needs the hormone, it is there for it to use. With the other modalities, which are time-released modalities, we're going up in strength and we're going down in strength and we constantly ride this up and down pattern. And honestly, it kind of confuses the body. The body doesn't know whether it has hormone or doesn't have hormone to do what? To repair itself. So now we get to our favorite method of hormone replacement therapy, and that is pellet therapy. Pellets are about the size of a cooked grain of rice. They get inserted right underneath the skin into the fatty tissue. And what happens with pellets is as soon as you insert them, the body builds capillaries around those pellets. And then as the blood flows around those pellets, the hormone gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream. So the faster your heart beats, the more blood flows around the pellet, the more hormone you absorb. So when you're sleeping at night, you get less hormone because you need less. And when you're up during the day or you're exercising and moving around your life, you get more hormone exactly at the right time when you need it. Pellets have been around since 1939. There's nothing new here, okay? They've been around a long time and there have been more studies done on pellets than on all the other modalities combined. So the important thing to know about pellet therapy is that you have an individualized dose. Your dose is determined by your lab work, by your symptoms, and by your medical history. Going to a certified BioT practitioner, they have the ability to determine that dose. I wanna tell you that the difference between medicine and poison is the dose. I can give you two aspirin, or I can give you the whole bottle of aspirin, and you're gonna have a different outcome. It's the same thing in hormones. A trusted BioT certified provider has gotten the education and the training necessary to determine your individualized dose. 98% of the time, when we determine that dose, within four weeks, our patients are feeling great. About 2% of the time, they might need a little bit more. We never overdose pellets, we never have to take them out. It is a great therapy. It's super convenient because that dose is inserted right under the skin. Whether you're going on vacation or hiking or playing, you don't have to worry about your hormone dose. It's with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, an even steady state dose that's determined specifically for you. If you think about it, this is the way the body was designed to absorb hormone. If you think of your endocrine system, how does hormone get into your bloodstream? It goes from a gland directly into the bloodstream. And when you look at the other modalities, whether you're using pills, patches, creams, gels, that is not the way the body was designed to absorb hormone. Hormone was not meant to go through the fatty tissue of the skin or through the muscle or through the digestive tract or through the liver. That's what creates those potential side effects that we talked about earlier. With pellet therapy, we really don't have any side effects to speak of. So that is the real difference between synthetic hormone and bioidentical or human identical hormone. The other thing that you need to know is that pellets is a cardiac driven modality where the other modalities are all time released, meaning they last a certain amount of time. But with pellets, it depends on blood flow. It depends on your cardiac activity. Pellets last about three to four months in women and they last about four to five months in men. So it's a very convenient way to get your hormones. Men see the doctor two or three times a year. Women see the doctor oh, three or four times a year to get their hormone dose. It's very convenient, it's very affordable, and it's very safe and effective. Okay, so what is the BioT therapy? In short, the BioT therapy is a method to get your body back to an optimal physiologic hormonally balanced condition. We also do some micronized nutrient supplementation to give your body the raw materials that it needs to repair itself. We do this by using the right kind of hormone, meaning human identical hormone. We do it with an individualized dose. Again, this means personalized and individualized method. And then we do it with the right kind of hormonal method, meaning the pellet, because that is how the body is most used to absorbing hormone. So the benefit of the BioT therapy is that it's safe, it's effective. Our method is based on over 75 years of peer-reviewed clinical research from around the world. Bone strength, lean muscle mass, mental clarity, all the symptom relief we talked about earlier is what the BioT method is about. So why is BioT helping so many people across the country? Simply because it works. 
Most of our patients feel the full effect of the therapy within about four short weeks. And this is very radically different than Band-Aid type medicine, meaning a prescription drug for a particular symptom. The average senior citizen in our culture today is on 20 different prescription medications. I'm sure you don't want to be on 20 different prescription medications as you age. So looking into the BioT method and finding a trusted certified BioT provider near you is really one of the best steps that you can take towards your optimal health. So if you're using oral hormone, you kind of have hormone, you don't, you have it, you don't, you have it, you don't, because pills have about an eight to 12 hour half-life. If you're on patches, you kind of build in strength for a day and a half and you fall off for a day and a half and on day three you change the patch and you're back up on the roller coaster ride. If you're doing shots, day one you're spiking to really high levels of testosterone and then you fall off over three, four days and you gotta take another shot. So you're kind of always up and down and up and down with these other modalities. With the implant or with the pellet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, your individualized dose is on board. Your body, your brain recognizes the fact that there's hormone on board and it knows exactly what to do with it to heal your body and relieve you of the symptoms you may be suffering from. So let's talk about some of the studies that back up the BioT method of hormone replacement therapy. One of the first ones is the Nurses Health Study. It was done in 1995, 121,000 nurses were part of this study. And what they found was that oral estrogens increased the risk of breast cancer, but estrogen plus testosterone really reduced the risk of breast cancer. Unfortunately, breast cancer is a big deal in the United States. And at BioT, we believe we can do something to prevent the incidence of breast cancer. And the Archives of Internal Medicine study shows you here that the use of non-oral testosterone actually downregulates the receptors in the breast tissue and does reduce the incidence of breast cancer. Literally, there are hundreds of studies that show the protective nature of testosterone on the breast tissue. Again, testosterone downregulates the receptors in the breast tissue. It opposes estrogen and it really does reduce the risk of breast cancer. Here's another great study. It's called the STUD study of 1990. And what it shows is 8.3% healthy bone growth per year. How many people do you know that are suffering from osteopenia and osteoporosis and they're taking those bisphosphonate drugs like Boniva and Fosamax? You know, the studies are actually coming out now showing that the, the fracture rate is actually increasing as a result of the use of those drugs. When you do human identical testosterone in the form of pellets, patches, pills, creams, they won't get you there, but pellets will. 8.3% healthy bone growth per year. We can do something about improving those bone density scans. So Alzheimer's disease is an increasingly important issue in our culture as well. We have 10,000 people a day turning 65 in this country, and we're seeing it more and more and more, people getting diagnosed with either the beginnings of Alzheimer's or full-blown Alzheimer's. Fact, women are eight to one more likely over men to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, and men with low testosterone are three times more likely to get Alzheimer's disease. This comes out of a recent 2013 study out of a neurology journal. It's an important thing to take note of. Another study done in 1993 was the British Journal of Hospital Medicine. What it showed, there was no increased risk in blood clots. That's really important because a lot of people have heard that hormone replacement therapy increases blood clots. Well, with pellet therapy, you don't have an increased risk of blood clots. Why? Because it doesn't go through the liver. When hormone goes through the liver, that's what increases thromboxane and increased risk for blood clots. So when you use pellets to get hormone into your bloodstream, you do not have an increased risk of blood clots. Another supporting study is the Susan Davis study, which was done in 1995. And what it shows is that with the use of pellet therapy to optimize your hormones, you actually have a positive effect on your lipid panels. What I mean by that is we're going to lower the LDL and we're going to raise your HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and we're going to lower your triglycerides. And if you visited your family practice practitioner recently, they're trying to monitor your cholesterol level and get that number down. Well, instead of getting put on a statin drug, which sometimes has negative side effects, how about we optimize your hormones and we have that positive effect by reducing inflammation and lowering your cholesterol. Another huge benefit of the BioT method is that we're actually preventing disease. We're not just waiting for disease to show up so we can treat it. This is the big difference between being a disease manager and actually doing something about preventing the diseases that we see being diagnosed in our culture. 
As we age inappropriately, arthritis seems to be a big deal. As a matter of fact, our government says that by 2020, arthritis is going to be the fourth leading cause of disability in our country. Your joints have testosterone receptors all over your body. So if you have achy joints and your body's just not feeling good and flexible, it may be that you're suffering from hormonal imbalance. And the best thing that you can do is go find a trusted BioT certified practitioner to do your lab work and to take a look at that lab work to see if you're at potential risk for some of these diagnoses in the future. When you get your hormones optimized, it's kind of like going from the hormone basement to the hormone penthouse. And when you make that transition, there is a potential of a few temporary side effects that may show up. Rest assured, a trained, certified BioT practitioner knows exactly how to mitigate any potential side effects that may show up. So what's your number? Everybody's different. Everybody's number is different. You know, I want to let you know that next time you look at your lab work, when you look at that reference range, I want you to know that there's no science behind that reference range. That's just the average of everybody that's ever had their blood drawn. So you got to ask yourself, do you want 20-year-old blood or do you want 80-year-old blood? You want to have optimal blood. How many times have you been to the doctor, gotten your lab work done, and you get a call back and they say everything's normal? And you were almost hoping that they would find something wrong because you haven't been feeling good. But then you get that call, they say everything's normal, and you think, oh, maybe I'm just aging and I'm getting old and this is the way it feels to get old. I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way. So once you've found your optimal number, that's when those symptoms that may have been plaguing you for 10 to 15 years just seem to fade away and you can feel energetic, vibrant, young, and healthy again. What are patients saying? Increased energy, renewed interest in life, enhanced libido and intimacy, uh, increased muscle strength, strong bones, just that vibrant feeling of feeling good in your body again and being able to do the things that you want to do. Listen to what patients are saying about BioT therapy and how BioT has changed their lives. Being in radio, it's stressful. There's always things happening. You've got to be reacting really quickly. And for me, for a while, that was kind of difficult. And then I figured out, okay, it's my hormone imbalance. We got that corrected with BioT. And since then, I feel like I'm raring to go every day. I found really the results to be pretty immediate. Um, and I think even some of the things I wasn't even aware of, um, I found a little bit more mental clarity. I wasn't, I didn't realize I was foggy until the fog kind of cleared. I finally just looked back after a few days once they kicked in and, but I, I really feel good and I feel like I want to run and I've never in my life ran. I'm a type two diabetic and since I've been palliated, I've been able to come off one of my two diabetic medications. I've stopped using my antidepressant drug that I've been on for years and I've also been able to, to get off of my cholesterol lowering medication. First thing I noticed for me when I knew something was different was I was doing the dishes at about eight o'clock at night one night and my wife looked at me and said, why are you doing the dishes? And I said, I don't know. I just can't stop doing them. I just feel like I can get stuff done. I was excited to be able to keep up with my kids and my family and the life that I love. So what have we learned here? We learned that you're not too old and you're not too young to have a hormonal or nutritional imbalance in your physiology. We've learned that it takes a hormone expert to really diagnose the root cause of why you're expressing the symptoms that you're expressing. And it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. You need an individualized method of hormone optimization. And that is exactly what the BioT method of hormone replacement therapy is. Remember, we don't want to be normal because being normal may feel the way you feel right now. What we're solving for is we want to feel optimal. We want to feel good in our skin, feel good in our body, mental clarity, natural energy, enhanced libido, all those great things. But even more important than that, we want to protect the heart, the brain, the bone, the breast, our joints, and our relationships. I'm Gunther Mueller, and thank you for watching and learning how to optimize your life with natural BioT hormone replacement therapy. Hopefully you too can age healthier and live happier.